The main screen of the mobile desktop displays the main modules and add-on modules of the application. Note that modules which are not installed in your application will not be displayed. The static toolbar is used to navigate between screens and for frequently used functions. The icons are as follows. Back to the previous screen. Forward to the next screen. New. Delete. Save. Search. Main screen. And synchronization screen. A gray icon means that the function is disabled on the active screen. The drop-down menu provides quick access to main features in the application. In Reminders, you can view all of your pending alarms and refresh all alarms. You can also access Utilities, view the recent synchronization log, and exit the application. The Business Partner module contains a list of business partners. Colors may be used as codes to define business partners. Tap on a business partner name to open the master data. The Advanced Toolbar displays shortcuts to installed modules such as Forms, Receipts, collection, and reports. The Create Document icon is a shortcut to create a new document. Labels or fields highlighted in red are required information. Tapping on a text field opens a keyboard. A down arrow opens an options pick list. The dotted button increases the field view. The toggle icon here switches between zip code and state. The tab views contain more information. Tap on a tab icon to display the tab screen. Tap the arrows to go to the next or to the previous tabs. Note that gray fields can be read-only and cannot be edited. The Contacts module contains a list of contacts. Tap on a contact name to open the Contact Master data. The Address tab displays the main address entered for the business partner. Tap the business partner icon here to quickly link to the business partner master data. The Sales AR module contains a list of saved documents. The list can be filtered according to document type and can also be filtered by documents that have already been sent or have not yet been sent to the server. The calculator icon displays the total of the documents. These are shortcuts to the optional printing and forms modules. To view document details, simply tap on the document name. The activities module contains four main screens and opens to the daily schedule. The All Activities screen displays a list of all your activities. The Weekly Calendar displays weekly activities. And the Monthly Schedule displays monthly calendars. The Service Application, Forms, Reports, and Mail modules are add-ons to the main application. The Forecast module is used for pipeline management. It contains a list of saved sales opportunities and their assigned probabilities. To view opportunity details, tap on an opportunity. 
Mobile Desktop provides an editing tool to enhance viewing. Tap on the column heading to open the editing tool. The up arrow sorts the list in ascending order. The down arrow sorts the list in descending order. The double arrow increases or decreases the column width. The refresh icon refreshes the screen. The switch icon interchanges between columns which have a black tab at the bottom corner. Columns can be defined by using the next icon, which is the table editing icon. We will be covering this in a later session. The Remove Filter icon is used to go from, for example, a filtered list of contacts to a complete list of contacts. To conclude our overview, we'll briefly look at the synchronization screen. The icons at the top display the username, company name, date and time. This field displays your current Amodat application version. Use this screen to send and receive data to and from SAP Business One, to send data, to define sync profiles, and to set up communication and user authorization. Tap Start to go to the main menu.